Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel CAD Tutorials for Beginners. Today we will start a new CAD tool that is Autodesk Inventor. So let us first understand the interface for uh, Autodesk Inventor. So when we open Autodesk Inventor this window pops up. From this window we can also start a new part, new assembly, new drawing and a new presentation. I'll just uh, close this. One more option available that is uh, to create a new part that is new. Just select metric template and then the standard mm.ipt so that is a unit as a millimeter and then just create a part. So I have an image so we can understand the interface here. So this option that is a Inventor Pro written over there is the application application bar or the uh, application me, sorry menu or the menu browser. This the above line that is a quick access toolbar. So the name that is a part name uh, part name shows here. It is a title bar. Then the, the search help and commands that is a information bar. So you can get a help from that here from this bar here. This complete toolbar that is a ribbon. Obviously this is a graphics window and this cube so one cube is available there that is a navigation view cube. This is a document window. You can close or minimize the document. This one is a navigation toolbar and this is a model browser you can see here and this is a UCS system as a user coordinate system. So this is a simple interface for the in Autodesk Inventor. So just now so you can change the unit from this also. If you want to change the unit, you can go to the tools, uh, document settings, and you can change the units from here. You can change it to inch or foot, centimeter. I will keep it as a millimeter. You can change the time in second or minute. Angle, you can change degree and rad radian, and also with the mass. Similarly, you can set the grid display and click apply and then close. So these are the these are some environments available here. That is a 3D model, sketch, inspect. There are some sections like tools, uh, manage, view. These are the different sections available here. To create a model, here is a browser a model browser. You can see here the planes, yz, xz, and xy planes. You can see here some axis, xyz axis, and this is the end of the part. So it's pretty much uh, similar to the other softwares like Creo, SolidWorks. From this navigation view cube, you can change the orientation of the part. You can rotate it. You can okay. Then this one is the navigation toolbar, it's similar to the AutoCAD. And here are some material addition, material removals, commands available here. Sketcher is uh, again this, this will be similar to the AutoCAD. So in next tutorial we will start some sketches. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe my videos. Thank you.